So today I'm going to talk about the uh, the YouTuber who sometimes does beauty makeup tutorials, I guess. And uh, apparently she's a 22-year-old single mother. And uh, she's a small YouTuber who, at the time, had 740 subscribers. She uh, posted a video, which is now deleted. She, at the time, had 740 subscribers. She now has, like, over 800. And I assume it's mostly because... People want to record her or tell her straight to her face. And uh, since her video uh, got spread on social media, she uh, deleted this, which I can't find the full context of it now, but uh, this will have to do. Just wish that it continued to stay out when it had, when I uh, had a chance to uh, make a video about it today. But uh, whatever. I'm j instead I'm going to bring up some tweets that I have, and yeah, let's uh, jump right into this now. My hand was running long before I even started filming she was crying because she got popped put in her crib and got her duckies or known as ipad taken from her this happened because she repeatedly didn't listen to to me yes i was upset about the pellet even though you were upset about the uh, pellet that doesn't mean you should take it out, take it out on a two-year-old by beating or spanking her up. I mean, for you to uh, beat up or spank a child over the stupid makeup palette from, from Jeffrey Star is quite nauseating, to say the least. I mean, why? First of all, why would you have a baby at 22 years old? Did you date somebody before? Did you date somebody who was a teenager just like yourself? And then you broke up with him when you were in your 20s and then after having sex you immediately got a child when you were like, what, 20 years old? 20 or 19 years old? At the time, if you didn't want to have a child in the first place, at least give her up for adoption. Don't beat a toddler over a makeup. I mean, come on. There are some things that you can replace. You can replace it. It's just a stupid makeup palette. That nobody really cares about. I mean, come on. Why would you beat up a baby? Just because you're... Be, be, just because you can't, like, take care of the child the way you should. Like, don't do that because if you did, then you... I are going to regret the day that your daughter will probably and will forever, you know, have a broken relationship with you. Or, as I call it, a bad relationship. And you will practically be, uh, be, like, regretting that your daughter would be, uh, who be living far, far away 
and she will no longer have contact with you. So that's one of the biggest reasons. She's a lot smarter than you guys think. She's the most intelligent toddler I know. She knows right from wrong. So yes, she knew she, what she was doing. She also knows that she's not to touch my makeup unless she asks and I help. When I got up and came back, I was getting milk. Giving the iPad back and comforting her. Yes, I spank and pop my child, but only when she absolutely will not listen to my guidance. I explained myself already, but I, now you've seen the rest of that part of the video. The rest was just honestly me going on about how broken that I was. Well, maybe you should have uh, left the rest of your video up and give more context to why you were sad in the first place, but... I think we all got it now, but that doesn't give you the right to be a child. Many people would agree that there is never a need for spanking. I mean, seriously. Why do that to the baby? Again, just why? I mean, if it's like, if it's like someone spanking a dog, or beating him slash the dog, her, being the dog senseless and uh, you can't be a good, be a human that has the right to live in the world like this. Humans are not meant to be abusive to any animals in the first place. This is our home planet. And for you to be abusive to a child speaks those kinds of volumes as to why you shouldn't have the child in the first place. And at 22 years old, you probably should not have a child and early teen pregnancy in the first place if you want to be a YouTuber and uh, review Jeffree Star's fucking shitty makeup. And I'm uh, I'm sorry for saying that his makeup is shitty, but I don't watch makeup YouTubers. Like, that's not my thing. That never has been my thing, and it never will be my thing. And then you had the audacity to say this. I said I need, need to think what you will of me. At the end of the day, I know who I am, and so do the people who actually know me. Well, does that mean you know the people who uh, did the same thing you did? Because I'm pretty sure they're at fault, too. I mean, what kind of parenting skills have you gotten from them? That it's okay to spank your child? Or better yet, beat him up or her up? Like, I've seen this all over social media and on television these days, and I pretty much know what is right from wrong from some parents who exploited their child online by beating them up on the internet. Like, Daddy05. The Daddy05 family or the Family of Five Family, as they're also known as, they were deleted from YouTube because they had abused a, a child that they know, and a child that they know is, a ch is also a child that was probably adopted and had to be taken back to the birth mom's arms because the daddy of five family well they're messed up people and these two parents are likely the mess the one most messed up parents of this planet's generation of the 21st century And this is why I don't trust any other parent who 
would do that to the, to their own child. I mean, come on. Just because I hate my parents doesn't mean I need to beat them up. Which, the same goes for if you have a child of your own. If you have a child of your own, you don't need to beat them up over anything silly. Like a stuffed animal or a makeup palette. And if you beat up your child over a makeup palette, you're not a good parent. I mean, come on, what gives you the right to do that? This person tweeted out to during police in North Carolina, I assume it is the location of where Michelle Grace lives, and uh, she had to respond with this. I spanked her. She's in no immediate danger. I'm a wonderful mother. I work hard. I provide for. I give unconditional love. She's good 95% of the time. It's not a crime to punish a child. She's not hurt. She's happy. She's healthy. That's all that matters. That doesn't mean spanking is okay. Or beating your daughter up in general is okay over a dumb makeup palette. Even though it's not a law, it's probably in your state, but it's still problematic here. And people like you need to actually go to a parenting class instead of, you know, beating up your child over some stupid shit. Alright, so it's now day two, and I have a video that I just found to show you. It is from a uh, YouTube channel who already uploaded Michelle Grace's deleted video. Unfortunately, it has two parts. So I have to show two parts of it. And, uh, yeah. Take a look at this, and uh, I'll give the rest of my thoughts on there. <laughs> Y'all hear that, right? I mean, no shit. Come on. She's only two. Her brain has not been de developed yet. So, for you to do something like that is just inhumane, really. I put it away to where she can't find it. And what does she do? She finds it. At this point, I need a freaking safe with a combination on it to keep her out of it. She has ruined two pallets of mine. And one of them is being discontinued. One second. My hand hurts. Because I just beat the crap out of her. Not literally. But I taught her a lesson. Because I'll be damned if she's going to walk all over me. And I know a lot of parents might not agree with me. But I don't normally... I don't normally spank my child. Unless I absolutely have to. And usually it's just a pop. And it's, it barely hurts. She cries for like five seconds. <sighs> but y'all, I'm sick of it. You shouldn't spank your toddler. At the age of two. You shouldn't spank your child at the age of two. That's not how it works. 
Now, she's going to have nightmares from this. What do you really teach your children? Michelle, what? She's two and a half. She's in her terrible twos. She's going to do whatever the hell she wants to. And if she, she knows she's not supposed to do it, she's going to do it. Don't get me wrong. 95% of the time, she's a good, she's a good kid. But there are just some times where I want to just scream and pull my hair out. Again, you shouldn't beat up your child over some stupid shit. I mean, come on, it's just a stupid makeup palette from Jeffree Star. You can get it replaced. I don't care what you have to say. There are not enough words in the dictionary to describe how mad I am. She kept trying to get into my James Charles palette. I kept having to move it, and I kept having to put it away, and I kept having to walk it away. She would always find it. One night, I fell asleep early. So did she, but she woke up in the middle of the night. She had managed to get out of her crib, find my palette, find Windex. I don't know how the hell she found Windex. But thank God she didn't, like, ingest it. Because that would have been a fucking disaster. But I wake up to her giggling. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I smell something. And I'm like, what are you messing with? And I get up and I go over there. She had sprayed Windex all over her crib, all over her sheets, all over her pillow, and all over my James Charles palette. <sighs> now I was mad. But I was like, you know what? At that time, James Charles was kind of canceled and um, it wasn't hard to find his palette. A couple nights later, she got into the same palette. Again, after I locked it away. Let me give you some advice right now. If you have some things that are really more important to you, and if your child is, who is young, who is as young as two, is able to reach it, well, make sure you put it in a higher, higher area so that your child doesn't reach it. Not on your level. Because you're so short. You're like what? 5'2 or something? If you're too short. And your child is able to easily reach. And you, and you can't put it on a higher level. Then that is your fault. You should put it out of reach. Not within reach. She destroyed the whole thing. Dug into it. Had it all over her crib, all over her, all over her sheets again. Even though I just changed her sh Just got her a new pillow. She ruined my James Charles palette. Ruined my James Charles palette twice. I was not happy, but I was like, you know what? That's fine. I can go buy a new one when I can afford it. It took me until after Christmas to buy a new one because I'm freaking broke. I can't afford to buy makeup all the time. And it was literally my favorite palette. Now, I do I do have one now to replace it because I got, uh, I had a gift card from Ulta um, for Christmas, but, uh, you know, I had to wait until after Christmas to get it. I wasn't, I wasn't happy, but it was whatever. Lately, she has been trying to get into all of my palettes. Again, it's because you're short and you put it within your own reach, not with, not out of reach, so that she doesn't have to grab it. If you put it out of reach by putting it higher away from her, then it would be considered out of reach. Even though I put them away a couple nights ago, she decided to get my conspiracy palette. Of course, I managed to get it away from her before she did anything to it. But she also got into my Alien palette, and for those of you who know Jeffree Star Cosmetics, you know the Alien is being discontinued. I can't afford to buy another $52 or $54 palette right now. As much as I would love to have every single one of the, the Blood Sisters, Blood Sugar, Blue Blood, and Bloodlust, I can't afford it. You know, I hear there are some other jobs that you could actually go to. 
like a uh, be a waitress at a restaurant somewhere or be a cashier that way you can earn extra money or at least take two drops so that you can actually afford to buy a, a replacement instead of whining about your kid who broke it who didn't know any better I mean come on do you think you you have the right to beat up a child over a stupid makeup palette from Jeffree Star or from any other makeup beauty guru you're an insane little bitch I was barely able to afford the alien palette and I was barely able to get the conspiracy palette because it was a birthday present to me from my grandma and she actually did get into the alien palette and did mess with the black but I was like you know it's fine whatever you didn't mess with the other colors well a couple of days later she found the alien palette again and she messed with the black again you know I was like whatever I have blacks and other palettes it's not that big of a deal So what I'm getting at is that you would treat your makeup palette better than your own child after you just beat her up for being a two-year-old who doesn't have a developed brain yet. <sighs> People like you are sometimes insane. You should have child protective services take your child away from you. And you couldn't protect your two-year-old with like your life? After you just beat her to, to, like, like, a punching bag? Yeah, I think Child Protective Services need to come and get your child because you're not fit for it. With my life, I'm upset. I, just not, I tried to see if there was a way that I could fix them, like scrape the top of them off, but there's not because she's dug into them. She's just, the ranch has just seeped through, and I guess that's what I get for leaving ranch on my bed, but I was literally just eating chicken nuggets. I mean, the lesson here is that you should leave your stuff out of reach. You should have baby-proofed your entire house. Like, literally. You should have done that before you brought your baby into the world. Next time, have someone do that for you so that you can actually be prepared to have a baby. At such a young age. Take care of your child. He's your responsibility. Whooping. I hope she learns, and I know she 
Exactly. See? You there you go again. You proved my point. She is only two. She doesn't know any better. Her brain has not been developed yet, and she's not gonna understand what you really say. I mean come on, wait for her brain to be a little bit more developed before you tell her not to do something. Aw, poor baby. Do you need tissue? Because that's what you're gonna, you're gonna need when you get your child taken away. If I were a parent, or if I was a parent, I would not hit a child this young because he slash she would realize that they've been living with a abusive parent. And you're one of them. Listen here, you fat bitch, Michelle Grace. I don't feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for the child who, who will now know that her own mother is a child abuser. You do not spank or pop a child at the age of two. That is just wrong. Wrong, I say. Wrong. Seriously, people like you should have child protective services taken away. I don't appreciate this. I never appreciate anyone that does that. I watch a lot of local news these days, and sometimes national news these days, to know what is right and what is wrong. And what is wrong is that you beat up your own child. If you did not do that in the first place, everything else would have been fine. But since you did, you are really the most disgraceful parent of all time. And on the behalf of every small YouTuber out there, we do not, under any circumstances, condone abusive child, abusive parent behavior. You abuse your child because you're an abusive parent. And I hate that. I really do. I hope one day Child Protective Services will come over there immediately and take your child away. I hope you get arrested too. I don't feel sorry for you at all. You hit your child. You should never do that. 